The SL50 by Dive Fork is a 5000 lumen underwater video light. What this light can do, what the pros and cons are and in which situation it performs at its best, this is what we're going to be looking at in today's review video. Coming up. Hey there underwater filmmakers, what's going on? It's great to see you back here on the channel for today's review. Now two weeks ago we looked at the little brother of the SL50, we reviewed the SL20 underwater video light also by Dyfog. If you've missed that review, I'll link it up here in the corner as well as down in the video description below so you can go and check that out if it interests you. Now, I was lucky enough that, like with the SL20, I received the SL50 from Dive Fork a couple weeks before I left for my trip to the Maldives, and I had plenty of time to test this light while diving the um, Maldivian underwater world. And I have to say that I didn't buy this light with my um, own money. I was, uh, it was sent to me by Dive Fork for testing and reviewing it here on the channel. This is not a sponsored video though, I'm not getting paid by Dive Fork to review this and to say anything they want me to say. They actually don't have any say in what I want to talk about in this review and uh, on the opinions that I share with you about the SL50 underwater video light in today's review video. Having put this out of the way, let's get right into the review video and the structure of today's video. There's going to be three sections to today's video. First, we're going to be talking about the features of the SL50. Secondly, um, I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of this specific light. And last but not least, I'm also going to share my opinion with you on who I think this light is made for. and. Uh, what situations it does perform in best. So let's not waste any more time and dive right into the features of it. The Dive Fork SL50 is a 5000 lumen underwater video light, which is one of its main features. Now it has a one button operation, uh, basically meaning that you can operate the light by just using one finger, so one handed and pushing onto that operational button. Now this is very easily done. Once it's activated, you can then just push onto that button once and you'll activate it going to the highest output level. This is your 5000 lumen or 100%. Pushing it again, it goes down to 75% and giving it another push, it will go down to 50%, the lowest uh, preset setting. Then pushing it one more time, you can turn it off. Now, a special thing on the SL50, which the SL20 doesn't have, is um, that you can dim the light by just keeping it pressed and then you can slowly dim it down, which is great because now you're not stuck to the three different options, 100, 75, and 50% of output power, but you can set your light to any output power by using that dim function. The only thing is that it does take a little time to get used to that so that you know when to let go of the button to get to the exact um, output power that you want to have for the required scene. The SL50 comes with a replaceable and rechargeable battery pack, which is great because especially if you're doing more than one dive a day and you've depleted your battery on the first dive, you don't need to wait on the surface for this one to recharge. If you have more than just one of the battery packs, you can exchange them uh, with a full one and you're pretty much good to go again. Now, the battery runtime of the SL50's batteries is only about 50 minutes, which, you know, is pretty average, but it should get you through an entire dive. 
maybe you just need to be a little conservative with the usage of the highest setting on the SL50 underwater video light. The shell of the SL50 is made from airplane grade aluminum. It is waterproof down to 100 meters and it has a dual o-ring uh, configuration for added security and for protection of um, unwanted water leakage inside the um, underwater video light. The SL50 has dimensions of 46 millimeters um, across and 135 millimeters from the front to the end. It weighs just under 300 grams, including the battery, when put into water, so that's its negative lift. Now, when we talk about the light quality of the SL50, it outputs a um, color temperature of 5600 lumen, which equals pretty much your daylight uh, temperature. And it has a CRI, a color rendering index of 96, which is really, really high. Now, if you don't know what the color rendering index is, it tells you how close the output of light comes to natural sunlight. Natural sunlight has a reference CRI of 100. So the closer this number gets to 100, the more natural your light is gonna look. 96 is a really good number, meaning that the light that is gonna come out of the SL50 is gonna be very, very close to natural sunlight, and it's gonna give you a very natural looking image that you're illuminating using that light. Normally, the SL50 costs $530, but right now Diefog has a special offer on which brings it down to $360, which is a really good deal compared to other comparable underwater video lights. So let's look at the pros and cons next and let's concentrate on the pro side first. Now one of the pros is definitely the size and the compactness and the power that this light brings with it. Another point that definitely needs to go on to the pro side is the uh, quality of uh, the craftsmanship and of the light itself i really think that this is uh, a very high quality product that is going to be lasting you for a very long time and it's going to be a very good companion on many of your future underwater video adventures another pro is definitely also the very good color rendering of the Difog sl50 with a reading of 96 uh, on the CRA, this means that the color, the light that is going to come out of your underwater video light is going to be very, very close to natural sunlight, thus giving you a very natural result when using this light to illuminate your underwater scenes. Another really cool pro is that it comes with a very nice soft pouch. This pouch has enough space for all the necessary accessories that you need with your light, like the charger, some silicon grease, some spare O-rings, and it makes it very nice and comfortable to carry that light around with you. And lastly, I really need to mention the price again. 360 US dollars is a killer price for such an underwater video light with 5,000 lumens and all the specs that this underwater video light boosts. Looking at the negatives of the SL50, there really is only two things that I wanna mention here. First of all, I do think that for its size and the compactness, it is rather heavy. Um, giving you 300 grams of negative uh, buoyancy once in the water, um, I do think you will need to add some float to compensate for that so that it's not, you know, getting too tiring carrying all that extra weight with you when being underwater. The second negative that I want to mention is the um, limited battery life. It gives you 50 minutes, as mentioned before, on the highest setting on 5000 lumen, which is 
barely sufficient for a dive and I think should be a little bit more than that. So it means that you'll just have to be very conservative with your light use, especially when you set it up to 100% at the 5000 um, lumen setting. This is something that you just need to keep in mind um, and maybe even get some spare batteries so you can exchange them in between the dives if you're doing multiple dives in the same day. So who is this underwater video light for? Who will benefit most from using this light? Well, I think if you are an underwater videographer who uses a action cam, a smartphone or a compact camera, compact system to film underwater, this will be a really good companion for you. You can use just one underwater video light with your small system and with the 120 degree beam angle, you will get enough coverage or if you want to be on the really safe side, you can get uh, a pair of these and use one of these on each side, giving you a really nice and even looking um, light coverage in the scene that you're trying to film. So people who are looking for a small, compact, yet powerful system that is reasonably priced and easy to use, they will be very happy with Dive Fox SL50 underwater video light and it will be a really good companion on their underwater filming adventures. And if this wasn't enough, Dive Fox is giving an extra 6% on the already discounted price of the SL50 underwater video light to all of my audience today. The way you can claim that discount, that extra discount, is by using the link that is in the video description below to go onto the Dive Fog website and purchase your new SL50 underwater video light. Thank you very much, Dive Fork, for offering this great deal to my audience. And there you have it, guys, a quick review of the Dive Fork SL50 underwater video light. I hope I was able to um, give you some information about this light, also about who this light is made for and in what situations it really shines. If that was the case, then please do not forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you're not missing out on any future reviews and other content that gets uploaded here regularly. Thank you very much guys for your time and for watching. As always a pleasure presenting all these different equipment pieces to you. Should there be any questions about the SL50, feel free to put them down in the comment section below and I'll make sure to get back to you as quickly as I can. Until next time, have a great week, keep capturing your amazing underwater adventures and I will see you next Tuesday.